Hey friends, it's Teresa Mahoney here, your independent Sensi consultant, and I am going to talk to you today about Bring Back My Bar. Woo! So the Bring Back My Bar promotion is going on now through the end of June. So twice a year, Sensi allows its consultants and customers to vote for their favorite bar to be brought back for a limited time. So these bars are only available, like I said, through the end of June, and I am going to share first sniffs with you and first thoughts. So, as a side note, I just wanna say that every sniffer differs. So just because I don't enjoy a particular scent or I do enjoy a particular scent, doesn't mean that you won't feel differently. So these are just my opinion. Um, and what I smell. Oftentimes, two people can smell completely different things in the same fragrance. So just pointing that out and something to keep in mind so that even if I say I don't like it, it doesn't mean that you won't or will, whatever. You know what I mean. Anyway, so let's get started. There are 25 retired Sensi bars that were voted to be brought back. So today I spent about three hours melting one cube from each of the bars except one, so 24 of the bars, I melted one cube to make a couple samples for my very important customers, my VIP customers. Um, if you want more information on how to be added to that list, let me know below. Uh, but what I did today was make samples for them and I also was able to ex experience first sniffs for each of these scents beyond just what you sniff when you open up the, the um, package. Now, Scentsy uh, Wax has kind of a three-tiered scent process in which there are different notes released after different amounts of time. So I only melted these five to 10 minutes to get them one cube to melt completely um, and then made my samples out of that. So I got those first notes. Um, doesn't mean that they won't smell differently over time. Some things that are really strong at first, after about a couple hours, they're not as strong. So just keep that in mind when you're melting your wax. If you don't like something at first, let it melt for a few hours and, and see how you feel after that. I am going to um, just go through my bag of wax here. Let me show you real quick. This is how they now arrive. So our wax is arriving in these um, bubble wrapped bags with a nice pack. And that is because the warm months are here. So expect that so that your wax comes protected and will not be melted when it arrives. Now, shipping is a little bit delayed as you all know because of COVID-19 it's delayed everywhere even my Amazon Prime shipments are taking weeks instead of days so it is something to keep in mind that if you do want any of these bars and you want to experience them before um, the end of June you're going to want to place your order as soon as possible but they can always be added into your Scentsy Club as long as they are added within 30 days of the days that they launch so they do have to be added at some point this month put them in your Scentsy Club and you'll be able to participate in the Always Get My Bar and um, get this bar sent to your house every one, two, or three months. It's perfect. So I'm going to jump right in. This is no particular order. It's whatever order I grab them out of the bag. Right now, just so you see, as I was making my samples as quickly as possible, um, I'm going to have to go back in and label them, but all I did was take the wax, make my samples, and then put the wax um, in the bag with the sample so I wouldn't get them confused. Now I'm going to start with this one. This is eucalyptus and I will say um, what I feel about the scent and then I'm going to also tell you then what Scentsy says about each of these scents. So if you see me looking down it's only because I'm trying to reference what Scentsy has said about um, these scents. So this is the eucalyptus Scentsy bar and it's definitely um, eucalyptus you can smell it right away uh, upon welting it melting it welting it um, and just so you can see that gorgeous color there it's a nice soft sage green upon melting it you definitely get those sharp eucalyptus oil like it cleared my sinuses a little bit and so I'm not sure as though I'm gonna add this to my club but I'm definitely going to get a few bars um, because I feel like this would be a great addition to put in my kids rooms um, when they have those head colds, you know, when you just like need the vapor rub, it does have that vapor rub scent to it. I am going to add though, this, um, 
has some end notes of poultry seasoning. Okay, so, and the reason why I say that, so let me read to you Sensi's description. Soothing medicinal eucalyptus, yes, uh, blended with thyme and sage creates the ultimate fresh fragrance. Yes, I smell that thyme, I smell that sage, and that is what is giving me that poultry seasoning scent. So that is our eucalyptus. Um, you know, if it's something you enjoy or you feel you might enjoy, definitely check it out. You could add it to your co-op and you could always remove it later if it's not something you are going to want. Um, all right, let's go into our next scent here. I have Cherry Limeade. Okay, so this is one that I wasn't sure I was going to like, but it is, and you can tell, so when I don't, when I don't, some of these, so when I do, when I make my felts, um, one square typically gets me five of these. Um, and sometimes there's a little more left over so I can make another one in the future. I just shove what's left here when I clean up because I don't like to waste my wax, you know? Okay, so this is that cherry limeade color. It is a bright cherry color. And this smells like you got a frozen cherry slushy and a frozen lime slushy and you mix them together. And it is fresh and refreshing. Uh, my kids think it smells like candy. They liked it. Let me just find it here. So I can tell you what Sensi says about it. They say that zesty key lime, sweet cherry, and juicy berry. A delicious scent reminiscent of a soda fountain drink. So exactly, it does. It definitely smells like that cherry from like a cherry Coke almost, and then a lime um, Sprite kind of scent. That makes sense. It's good. It, it is nice. I really do like it. Um, is it something that I'll put in my club? Probably not just because I'm not into the fruity candy smells, but um, it's definitely a fun scent and refreshing. So I actually liked it more, more than I thought I would. Um, yeah, very bright. All right. So let's try this one. Grape Granita. I could have known that by seeing it's purple. Now, this to me, when I first melted this, it, um, I mean, when I first open it, your first, first impressions on this one is grape, 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 grape. So, um, but after warming it, I don't know if it was because I warmed it right after I warmed happy birthday, but it felt a little deeper than just plain bright grape. So I'm going to have to try it again on its own. It's one of those ones I put a question mark against it because I wasn't sure that maybe I do like it a little more than I thought I was going to. So we're going to see. I'm going to try it again. But um, since he says sun warmed grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysuckle. Okay. So maybe that's the honeysuckle sweetens it up a little bit more instead of the um, like just plain purple grape of like grape crush. You know what I mean? But it is, it is, first whiffs are definitely great crush. Um, and then everything I'm comparing things to is old soda. So, let's see how y'all feel about that. All right. Up next. Okay, cashmere. I didn't like it. I'll be honest with you. Something about this is very powdery to me. It smells, and again, I'm going to be honest, these are my personal opinions. You may completely disagree with me, and that is okay with me. Um, so when I was younger, my dad worked at a retirement home and used to bring us with him. And I will say that they must have used a soap that smelled like this because it reminds me of um, that place. So I just am, am not a huge fan, but... Yeah, it's not it's not what I was expecting. I have cozy cashmere, which is was a fall um, scent that I really really enjoy, and this one is just not it. So I'm gonna tell you what Sensi says. It is a nice peachy color. It says sheer floral bouquet combines Moroccan jasmine, lily of the valley, and bergamot. Now I like bergamot normally. And I would think Moroccan Jasmine I would enjoy because I like that spice, but it's not spicy at all. It's very, it's floral and it's kind of powdery, like 
like a baby powder type finish to it. So I was not a fan of cashmere, but it doesn't mean you won't be. All right, up next, Route 66. I enjoyed this one. So this is a pretty green. Um, I'll just show you that. Get back to my description. Da, 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 da. It was like just dawned on me that I was searching by color on the um, on my website for the descriptions, and um, yeah, they're in alphabetical order. So. Route 66, a windswept drive in a wind swept drive in a convertible, an exhilarating breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. I can definitely smell the musk. I am a musk fan, so if you are not, then then maybe our scent taste might be a little little bit not not the same. But I am a musk fan, and I really enjoyed this. So did um, my husband, which is good. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Route 66. I can't describe what I smell other than it's like it is fresh, crisp. Yeah, it's, you know, citrus. Maybe it's not a strong citrus scent to me. The herbs, I don't know what herbs, but it just smells fresh and clean. I like it. I like it a lot. So that is Route 66. I'm going to add this one to my Scentsy Club. I'll probably add this every three months. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet on that one. All right. What's next? What's next? This is a beautiful blue color. It is Blueberry Rush. Now this one I wasn't, I thought I was not going to like because I do not like blueberry scents. Um, my husband has blueberry cheesecake going in his warmer down in the basement, which is his office temporarily. And I am not a fan. It is very, I just do, don't care so much for the blueberry smell. It smells very um, fake to me, if that makes sense. But this one doesn't. This one to me smells more like a bright berry than a blueberry. Um, it doesn't smell like the baked blueberry. It smells more like a candy berry. Um, so this is called Blueberry Rush. It is very bright blue. And it says, a sweet surge of ripe blueberry leads a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry, black currant, and pomegranate. Yeah, I smelled the cranberry. I think that's what it is. It has a very strong cranberry to it. Um, which complements the blueberry pretty good, pretty nicely. So if you like berry scents, then that is a good one for you. Okay, next we have Rose. And I'm going to tell you right now, I did not melt this one because Simply Rose smells like just that, Simply Rose. I know that I will not um, warm this in my house personally because I do not like the scent of rose but if you have ever experienced like a face cream um, like my Nana used to wear this and this is how her face smelled so it is that rose old time uh, I wish I knew what face cream it was that smelled like rose hips but that's exactly what this smells like so if you love rose that's your girl right there and it is like the rose scent for Scentsy. So if you're a fan of rose, you're going to want Simply Rose. Coconut cotton. Yep, going in there. It's going in the subscription, and it's probably going to go in every month. Coconut cotton. It's a nice bright blue. It's beautiful. It's fresh. You do definitely get that coconut smell. And let me pull up what is complementing it. Sun warmed cotton, creamy coconut milk, bright citrus, and white sandalwood transport you to a cabana on a tropical beach. Yep. Wouldn't you want to be there right now? You can definitely get the citrus a little bit, and it is clean and fresh, kind of like um, sun warmed cotton. It is not super strong. It's not one that's going to clear the room, which is good. Um, I personally like strong scents, but something like clothesline. Um, that one you can smell outside like that is strong 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 fresh scent um, this is definitely not super strong so I do enjoy this um, coconut cotton 
I, my notes, I wrote, yes, coconut, just get it. So that's my opinion on that one. Sorry, kicked my table here. All right, up oh, next we have something light purple. Did I close it? Oh, oh, I closed it. Okay. Fuzzy Blanket. This is a beautiful shade of pale purple, and I thought I was going to like it, and I couldn't tell. So, warming 25 cents in a short amount of time, what I did, I went up into my bathroom and my kid's bathroom because there is no air conditioner unit in those rooms, no vent in those rooms, so it's warmer. Um, I find that when it's super cold in my house or the AC is really running, I don't smell things as well as I do when it's off. So I have um, set up a warmer in both bathrooms and I was going from room to room, doing my sniffs, doing my samples, go in the other room, do like put in a new cube, uh, let that melt, go in the other room, package up the same. It was just like this crazy time. So that this one might have just fallen into a, the one before it was really strong or my nose was tired, but I couldn't tell if I liked it or not. So this is one I'm gonna have to melt again. Fuzzy blanket. I'm gonna have to warm this one again. But um, so Sensi says, snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. Yeah. I'm not getting the sandalwood as much and it was so faint. This is a very light, like I said, it's very light. So if you're one that doesn't like really strong scents, this might be a good one to try. It would be good in a bedroom because it is um, like that soft type of smell, but I seriously have to melt it again because I just, I, I was maybe, I don't know, struggling from sniffer fatigue or something. It's gonna be a new word. Oh, and this was the other thing was that jumping jelly bean happened to be the scent that I warmed right before it. So jumping jelly bean is pretty strong. Um, it is a like bright green, if you can tell. When it melts, it's not like you can't barely even see that there's a wax on this, but there is. Um, jumping jelly bean, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So somebody does because it got voted to come back. So don't necessarily take my word for it. But um, since he says crisp pear and apple, zesty lemon and sugar evoke sweet childhood memories. No, I don't know. It is very citrusy. I do get the citrus. I don't get the apple. Well, maybe I do get apple, like a green apple at the end of it, it's, um, if you want to try a sample, let me know, but it's not one that I was, I was a fan of, but again, I don't really like the fruity, sugary candy smell so much, so I think that's probably what, um, what did I write about it? Jumping jelly bean, no, it has a fake lime smell, so it's lemon, but uh, to me, it smelled like, my first impressions were that it was like this really fake, line right does that make sense okay so up next we have happy birthday love this i didn't think i would like this didn't think i'd like it at all so i personally didn't think i was a fan of bakery scents and guess what i am so <laughs> it says a candy licious confection of sparkling sugar fluffy whipped cream and vanilla extract Happy birthday. It does. It smells like, um, it smells like cake. And I liked it warmed. I didn't think I would. I thought it would be too kind of sweet. Nope. It's good. I like it. I'm not going to like it. It's going in my club. All right. Uh, and I was surprised. I wrote that in my notes. Surprised. I loved it. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to keep, maybe, no. Then you won't hear me. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Banana nut bread, another one I thought I wasn't gonna like. And guess what? I did. My husband liked it. He loves the food ones, especially foods. He um, is on the keto diet, so he doesn't eat these things. Um, and I didn't think I'd like it, and I did. So to me, it does not smell like banana bread. Um, it says right from the oven with ripe bananas, nuts, and spices. 
it does smell like bananas, not banana bread to me. It smells like, oh, why am I out of focus now? It smells like um, banana cream pie. So I can smell like the banana pudding kind of smell, not the banana bread smell. Um, so it's like a banana pudding with like the graham cracker crust and the whipped cream. And now I like was smelling this and I was like, I want banana cream pie. So it's good. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. How are we doing here? Whew, there's a lot of scents to get through. Okay. Rio Beach. I enjoyed this one. Yep. 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 I did. I did. What did I write down about it? Oh, coconut. So... <laughs> It definitely does. The first thing upon warming it, it does give you that bright coconut. Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm keeping it around. It says the scent of sun, surf, sand, and samba. Coconut milk, tropical fruit, and tonka bean. I have no idea what a tonka bean is or what it smells like, but you definitely can smell the tropical fruit. And I think the tonka bean must be what's making it a little more like vanilla-y instead of bright with the tropical fruit so like a coke like a coconut tropical you think almost like a melon it's not a melon it's it's sweet um but not super sweet it's really hard to describe scents but you guys are getting the picture i do enjoy it though um it's definitely sticking around for me okay ah. no it's darth vader back there yep that's the darth vader warmer I'll be sharing that in a video in the future. He came this week as well. I ordered him the same day as the Bring Back My Bar. So Tuesday I got him and the um, Millennial Falcon and then um, the Father's Day warmer as well. And then on Wednesday I got all of these guys. So it's been a busy week. Hemingway. Oh, really, really enjoy this. I am putting it in my club for every three months because I probably will warm this in the colder months. Um, I really like it. It is um, reminds me of Bar Harbor, Maine. There is a store on top of Cadillac Mountain and it reminds me of that store. So if you've ever been there and they have those like pine bag things that you put into drawers and it's not pine it's cedar but I don't know why it just reminds me of that so this is called Hemingway E F G H I know my letters of the alphabet rich ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice yep it is it's like a woodsy apple warm kind of like picture a fireplace going. I like it. It's not very summery for me, so I'm surprised it was brought back during our like summer bring back my bar, but I'm definitely gonna stock up for those winter months. It's going on my list. Fresh cut grass. This I enjoyed. It has a small throw. I will say that because I, well, I had started in my kitchen making these and I couldn't really smell this. I had to like get on top of it. And I think that's because I was like right under the AC vent. I'm only burning, burning. I'm only um, warming one bar and so, or one square, not one bar, one tiny little square. And I have a big space um, in my first floor that's all very open. So it kind of spread and I, it got lost. But what I, when I did get close to it, I did enjoy it. A lot of people say this just smells like mowed lawn. It didn't to me. It smells a little bit more like fiddle leaf fig. Um, uh, and Sensi says, fresh cut grass, wild fern, and morning dew are just like a freshly cut fairway on a cool summer morning. I'm definitely going to melt this again and make a decision as whether or not I want to put it in my club or not. I enjoyed it. I don't know if it's something that I necessarily have to have if that makes sense, um, but I did enjoy it. It's a bright, pretty color. It reminds me of a couple other spring scents. So to me, because I can get the other scents, it may not be something that I need to subscribe, but um, that's just my opinion. Okay, oh, we got now. 
I think we're over halfway there, at least, at least halfway there. Beach. Okay, I'm losing my little sense again. Beach. I thought I would love this, and I wrote meh. So, thought I was going to love it from the description. What did Sensi say? Papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. Yep. So, it is on the fruitier side, and... Um, it's nice. Actually, no, this isn't the one that I thought I was going to love from the description. But to me personally, I'm not a fan of like that fruity stuff. So it is very fruity. It's nice. It's fresh and um, it's nice. Someone will love it. It's not me, but that is beach. Sorry. It's a blue, it's a blue cover, but it's not a blue wax. Do you care about that? Just curious if you care about the color of wax that you have. Um, some people do. Which, I don't know. To me, I don't see the color of wax really, so. Look at the ones glowing behind me. Can't tell what color is in there, right? Okay. Thunderstorm. Now this is one that I thought I was going to enjoy because of Scentsy. Let me see what she said. She. I don't know why I'm doing that. Thunderstorm. Refreshing moss, sharp clove, and spicy rose are like the breeze in a storm. Yep, it's the rose. It's too floral for me. So this was definitely floral, floral, floral. Um, I walked into the bathroom and I thought it was my Nana's house, which was my dad's grandmother. So it smelled like that for me. She had a lot of floral stuff, but she also had a lot of plants in her yard. And I feel like her house just smelled like lilacs and roses and all of that all of the time, which is lovely. But I don't want my house to smell like my Nana's house. So for me, it doesn't work, but for somebody else, it may be beautiful. So thunderstorm. Moss, sharp clove, and spicy rose. I don't smell the clove at all. Definitely smell the floral. Up next, I've got this lovely little pink sugar. Sugar. Um, sugar, sugar, sugar. I enjoyed sugar. So we melted sugar. Before we melted sugar, we all tested these last night, like sniffing them around my living room, throwing them at each other. And I really like this cold. Really, really like it cold. I can't describe what it is. Fruit blend of lemon drops and cotton candy is what Sensi says. I don't really smell the lemon, but it smells really nice. It is very light, 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 light. So if you have a small room, if you're not a huge fan of large scents, if your um, house seems to like hold scents more than, this is a nice soft, it won't be overpowering at all. So it's a good, good one for that. But if you have a large space, high ceilings, big open floor plan. Okay. So next is Bring Back My Bar. Southern Evening. Bring Back My Bar. Does anyone else love RuPaul as much as I do? Um, thought I was going to love it. What did I write about this one? Uh, likes it. Okay, I like it. First sniffs, there's something off-putting, but warmed, I enjoy it. I'm definitely gonna warm it a little more. Um, French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk will prove an enchanting escape. There's something on the top there that, I can't tell what it is. And like, I was like, do I like that? Do I not like that? I can't figure it out, but once it's warmed, and was going for a bit, I enjoyed it. So that is um, Southern Evening. So I like it. I think that one I might just order a few and not subscribe to the bedroom. We'll see. I gotta have to warm some of these some more and then I feel like, I feel like the next few weeks in my house is gonna be a lot of wax switching. Lots of wax, that's okay, that's all right. Pink Haze, Pink Haze is, pink. Um, I wrote light struggle. I struggled to smell this. I struggled to smell this one with my face on top of the warmer up in the bathroom. So if you, again, like really small, subtle scents, it could be a great one for you. 
this I wouldn't I would not melt this personally in my house because I can't smell it. Sweet confection of berries, nectarines, and vanilla laced whipped cream nestled in a marshmallow fondant. Smells beautiful. Sounds beautiful. I just can't smell it. Every sniffer differs, my friends. Every sniffer differs. Okay, one, two, nope, dropping them on the floor. One, two, three, four. All right, five left. Woohoo! Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me for this long and for enjoying my videos. I already had to stop once because I said I reached my limit. So hopefully I'll be able to edit these together. Echo. Echo. I wrote about Echo. Strong, big throw, and liked it. This is one that if you have... I keep losing those guys. It's not, it's not much of a color. It's like an off-white. If you have a sensitivity to fragrance, like Yankee Candle gives you a headache, this is too strong for you. But um, I honestly thought it was going to be too strong for me, so I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to like this one as much as I want to. But once I left the room um, and let it completely melt and came back, it was not as potent. So keep that in mind though if, if heavy strong if heavy strongs if heavy scents um like if you get migraines this is not for you sophisticated metropolitan fragrance of manly spice notes mm -hmm. uh, mediterranean citrus and herbs and bitter orange i like it i like it it's going in the club guys it's going in the club okay my club is going to be crazy at the end of this. All right, bubble gum. Thought this was going to smell like hubba bubba, right? Or like, you know, what was the gum when we were little? The like square, is it hubba bubba? Juicy, not juicy fruit. This smells like um, the gum because it's got like that mint to it, but it also has the gum smell to it. So I threw this at Sam last night. He opened it up and he was like, this smells like the gum from baseball cards. And it does. And the description from Scentsy is the true scent of baseball card bubble gum, sugar and cotton candy with a hint of mint. And that is exactly what it is. So if you love baseball card gum, not for the flavor, because I don't think it tastes like anything but cardboard, then you'll love this. All right, two, three, more. Cherry vanilla. Another one that I couldn't tell if I loved it or not. So this is definitely a strong cherry smell to it. Um, it's sugary, but it's also like almost like a Halls or a Robitussin smell to it at first. So I think that's the cherry. It's kind of that, I don't know. Like I was like, is this Robitussin? What, what is this? But it also smells like a really nice perfume. So I can't, I'm gonna have to warm this again. Um, cherry limeade is, or, sorry, cherry vanilla, not cherry limeade. Cherry vanilla. Delightful swirl of candy cherry sugared almonds folded into a velvety white chocolate ice cream. So um, it does have a little bit of a medicine smell to it, but I also don't mind it. So I'm going to have to melt this one some more and make some decisions about whether or not it's club worthy. Open it. White Sands. White Sands, another creamy off-white color. Just want to drop my bars on the floor. Um, this one, what did I say about this one? Did I love it? When I smell it like this, I love it. And I did, I wrote a heart next to it. So I love it, it is light. So even when melting it, I think I melted it after something that was a little heavier and a little stronger, kind of lost it in the room. Night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze. This would be nice in a bedroom or a small space like a bathroom, but I do, I do enjoy it. So that is, um, white sands and last but not least oh beach daisy i enjoyed this one 
I enjoyed this one. It smells like a perfume to me and I can't figure out which perfume. So I'm going to find that out and I'm going to get back to y'all on that. But if anybody knows, please leave it below. Um, Beach Daisy Scentsy Bar. Honeydew Melon with Wild Daisy and Green Apple. Yes. Make a bouquet of fresh picked paradise. Guys, I normally don't like the floral, but I like this one. Something about it, even with the fruits and the florals, I like it. It's kind of fresh. So, you know, don't write something off just because you think you're not going to like it. Because by the description, I'm not a floral or a um, fruit person, but this one's really good. So there it is. That's all 25 of my Scentsy Bring Back My Bars for June. They are only available until the end of the month unless you add them to your Scentsy Club, which you can always get my bar when you do that. So if you need more information on that, contact me. I'm going to hook you up, let you know all of the details about that one. But thanks for joining me today on um, this first video on our YouTube channel. I hope to see you again in future videos. Let me know what you think below and um, subscribe. That'd be awesome if you could. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Enjoy your day. Bye.